one of the most important proteins in the body, and certainly for the nervous and muscular systems, is the sodium-potassium ion exchange pump. This pump uses an enormous amount of ATP, perhaps 40% of a cell's resting energy budget. And using this ATP, it pumps sodium ions from inside of the cell, outside of the cell, three at a time, and pumps potassium ions out of the cell, into the cell, two at a time. So when this pump works, three sodium ions are pumped out of a cell, and two potassium ions are pumped into the cell. As a result of this pump's constant action, there is a high concentration of sodium outside cells and a high concentration of potassium inside cells. Since sodium and potassium ions are both positive ions, one would think that their crossing the cell membrane would not affect the charge of the cell membrane or the charge difference across the cell membrane. However, since three positive sodium ions leave for every two positive potassium ions which enter, the net result of this protein's action is that there are more positive charges leaving the cell than there are positive charges coming into the cell. As a result, this establishes a resting membrane potential in which the inside of the cell has a negative charge compared to the outside of the cell. There are more positive sodium ions outside the cell than there are potassium ions inside the cell.